This is the MoviTherm demonstration of the IRNDT software package. We're going to be doing a lock-in thermography analysis of a composite panel that's approximately uh, 4 millimeters in thickness. Okay, the software, when it first opens up, hit this default setting where you have a, the default workspace. We're going to go ahead and clear that because we're going to create our own for lock-in thermography. And uh, first we need to also uh, make sure that we're connected to our camera. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick device scan, make sure it's in the system. It's there. And connect to it. We also need to make sure that our frame rate is set correctly. In this case, we're going to be working at uh, 20 frames per second. So it's still set up for 20. So now that we have our our camera set up, we're going to go up to this menu bar. And we can set up various types of analyses, such as lock-in, transient, pulse, and TSA. We're going to go to our lock-in wizard. All of these settings look fine. Our excitation source is an IR power box. And then we're going to change the period here to 20 seconds. And what it's going to do is we're going to have a light excite the composite panel for a total period of 20 seconds, and it's going to slowly turn on over the course of that first 10 seconds and then slowly turn off over the course of the next 10 seconds. Uh, we're going to change hardware synchronized to free run. And we should be good to go. Okay. In order to run the test, I just go up to the little icon here that looks like a, a starting pistol. Click on that and hit the start button. So this first phase, it's going to be acquiring all 400 images. If I look over at the uh, composite panel, it's being illuminated now. And now the lamp is slowly going off. So now the all the images have been captured, and now they're being processed. Shouldn't take too long, just a few more seconds. So we've got our first resulting image here. But what we want to do is reset the evaluation type so that we can go to harmonic approximation and then reevaluate. That should give us a much clearer image of the flaws behind the composite panel. So if I'm looking directly at the, the front of the panel, I don't see anything except for a nice, clean, um, homogeneous uh, surface. But several holes have been drilled into the back that you can't see from the front. And if we kind of adjust our, our phase grouping here, we should be able to kind of tune into that particular set of, of uh, flaws. So we've got some large drilled holes here in the back. We've got this much larger section of cut that's been cut out. You can also see the kind of surface here. It's you can't see anything from the front. And you've got the uh, holes here on the, on the side. We've also got some other options for viewing this image. We can select a different palette to give us a little bit different color scheme. I'm going to select TSA, which gives us a full range from uh, blue to, to yellow, different intensities. Different ones give different effects. So you can more clearly see the flaws here. Alright, so that's using the the lock-in thermography wizard. And I'm going to go back over to the live mode just so you can get an idea for kind of what it looks like from the front because it's kind of hard to tell from, from that image. So I'm going to go ahead and switch on live mode. And let me change my palette to TSA. You can't really see, see it yet. Let me go ahead and put some light on it. Heat it up again.
so I'm kind of hitting it. With, I'm hitting it with some light for about 20 seconds at a time here, just gonna give you an idea of what it looks like. So here's the front of the panel through the uh, SC6000 without any lock, and this is just strict live mode here. So you can kind of kind of make out the shape of the the flaws behind, but you can't see them as clearly as you can using the lock-in method. Alright, so that completes the demo of our IRNDT software here at Mobitherm. Thanks.